I've got about a pound and a half of ground beef here. And I put salt and garlic powder, a little onion powder in this. And only about a quarter of a cup of oatmeal because I'm watching the carbs for my husband. And I put two eggs. And I, I sauteed up some onions and he likes red bell pepper in his. And I just sauteed them up until they were translucent, a little softer, so they make sure they get done. Because I'm making the little mini meatloaves and they cook last time. Here's my my little muffin uh, dish that my daughter bought me for Christmas. Anyway, they'll take less time and I'm afraid, I was afraid the onions wouldn't get done. And then in this bowl, I'm doing my mom's recipe, which is like, they really like big burgers, really, but she always put just egg, salt and pepper, onions, and bread, little pieces of bread, which I know has carbs, but I can have them, so <laughs> that's going to be mine. And got these little mini muffin, I mean, mini meatloaf uh, tins that disposable. You can get a ton of them on Amazon, probably nothing. I'm going to try one out in there and see how they turn out. If the muffin ones turn out better or these turn out better and how long they take to cook. There's my onions and peppers. Okay, so I'll mix this up the rest of the way. I did oil the, uh, with the paper towel, I did oil the little cups and the disposable meat mini a loaf pan to put the meatloaf in there. After I mix it all together, then I'm going to loosely put it in. Because that's a mistake I made a lot of times making meatloaf. Is I'd pack the meatloaf so tight. And it's just too dense. It's just not as good and not as moist. So I'm going to try to do it loose. And I used a wooden spoon to mix it instead of my hands this time. A little looser. And I use this little wooden spoon in this small bowl to mix it. It makes it breaks up the meat so much better than anything else. Except your hands. And I don't want to pack it tightly. So I've got the oven set on 350, and I'll be back in a minute. So here they are on a cookie sheet. I packed them loosely, the uh, little, the meat and stuff in the little muffin things. And I put, there was five for my husband out of the pound and a half, plus a little mini loaf, meat loaf out of the pound and a half. Out of the half pound, I got one muffin one and one uh, mini, meat, uh, mini loaf pan one. And I'm going to put them in at 350 degrees. See how long they take. I forgot to say. I think I said I used a wooden spoon to mix it with. It's so much easier than your hands. And it really breaks up the ground beef. But I used a half a cup. A measuring cup. And I rounded it. And that's what I used for the muffin. Um, size for the muffin tin thing. Muffin pan uh, dish. And it was just perfect. A half a cup, rounded up a little bit, was perfect for them. The one thing I like about using these spoons, wood spoons, this one's really heavy. And a small one for the smaller bowl of meat, ground beef. Um, I didn't have to use my hands for the meatloafs at all. I mean, these mix them up so well, so easy. And it doesn't pack down your meatloafs real tight. So, I really like them. Um... Pretty nice. They're cooking away. You can hear them sizzling. The thing about it, though, I don't know if you can see in that back muffin one, but this is extra lean ground beef, uh, right? You know, you, you don't know whether to believe them or not, but look at all that grease coming out of there. I mean, there's a ton. I thought if I got the really extra lean, we wouldn't have a problem with that, but it is full of grease. We'll see how they turn out. So I took a spoon and tried to dip some of the grease out of these muffin things and the loaf pans. I, I got a little out. There's still a lot. But anyway, it's been, let's see, 15, 20, 35 minutes. And I went ahead and put the ketchup on. I just used ketchup. I used to put a bunch of stuff like brown sugar and all that, but my husband watches carbs. And we still have to count the ketchup carbs. So anyway, we'll see how they turn out. So here they are out of the oven after 40 minutes. Do 40, 45. The, uh, let's see what the temperature is on this. 175, 181 on these little mini ones. 175. I think I overcooked them a little bit. 178. 184. 
Yeah, I probably could have taken them out at 35 minutes. But at least I know they're done. There's still some grease hanging around there, but I'm going to take them out and set them on some paper towels. Hopefully that'll absorb some of the grease. And then I'll be back and let you know how they taste. So here they are. I just took them out, set them on some paper towels for a minute. And believe it or not, the rest of them, the meatloaf is not, doesn't seem all that greasy compared to what I thought it would. Uh, but I took a bite. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, this is crazy sounding me because it's just different size meatloaf pans. But these are the best meatloafs I've ever tasted. <laughs> of course, I tasted mine, which was my mom's recipe with the bread, you know. Which I know holds more grease, but yum, it was good. It's good. <laughs> but then I have my husband's. And he's on a 60-carb a meal diet plan. He's very thin. They don't want him going below that. And he's on insulin, so he can have this ketchup. We added up the carbs, what it would be. And we don't do that very often, but he has to have ketchup on his meatloafs. Wow, these turned out so delicious. And I was really worried about all that grease coming to the top. It's like, oh my goodness. But listen, guys, these are moist and delicious. They're not dry. They're not dense and packed down. I love them. Would I do it again? Oh, yes, yes. So I got all this out of two pounds of ground beef. It's supposed to be extra lean. Oh, well, I'm sure it's better than the other, I hope. But they're tasty. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. So I'm going to do a little taste test, which I already did a taste test. <laughs> I couldn't wait, but look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That is so moist, not dry, not dense. And that is for one thing from not packing it down. Even in the meatloaf for my husband that's got a little bit of oatmeal. I'm not even going to put the oatmeal on none next time because it doesn't need it. I think your um, meatloaf stays more moist without all those fillers, you know? Yeah, it may not slice in real pretty slices, but with this type of meatloaf, the mini ones, you don't need to slice it, you know? Oh, my goodness. I just love it. I love it. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I hope you try it, friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.